stop daily gun violence. It's not right. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from a victim's family following an active shooter situation from yesterday where one person was killed and two others were injured. It led to a manhunt that lasted for hours, spanning 40 miles between Forest Park and Powder Springs. You or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence or the threat of domestic violence, there is help available. You can contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at the number you see on your screen. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from a victim's family following an active shooter situation from yesterday where one person was killed and two others were injured. It led to a manhunt that lasted for hours, spanning 40 miles between Forest Park and Powder Springs. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy has more. Cherie Hill shared this photo of 43-year-old Brandon Harris with 11 Alive, describing him as a loving husband, doting father of four, and passionate about his community. Hill, so shaken up by the loss of her husband that she asked us not to show her face. He was such a good person. He had such a good heart. He would stop and do anything. He would help him change a tire. He would stop and see ladies like out of their car. He would help them. Her husband was one of three victims shot when police say Victor Bayman went on an hours-long crime spree in Forest Park. The crime spree started when Bayman allegedly followed his ex-girlfriend to a tax preparation service and killed Harris, who was preparing her taxes. Police say Bayman then shot a nearby convenience store worker and a construction worker. This convenience store where Friday's tragedy started is back open today, and Brandon Harris's wife is here trying to make sense of it all. The census violence has to stop, and mental health is real. People need to... For people in the community and better outlets for people. This was unnecessary. My husband was an innocent person. He didn't deserve this. Hill says her husband owns several businesses, including a fleet of ice cream trucks, but was looking to expand his business footprint. Just became manager of the tax store and was in hopes of opening up his own tax company. The other two shooting victims survived and are recovering in local hospitals. Bayman is listed in critical condition after police took him into custody when he crashed into a tree on Richard D. Saylor's Parkway in Powder Springs. Reporting from Forest Park, Erica Murphy, 11. An innocent man, Brandon Harris, age 43, a husband, a father, gunned down January 5th, 2024 in Forest Park, Georgia. Innocent man. God bless the family and friends. Dang. You or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence or the threat of domestic violence, there is help available. You can contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at the number you see on your screen. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.